Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I do have a drug store slash high-end makeup haul. Um, I did pick these items up different times within this month. And I also found some cool stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So you guys can go out and check your stores and see if they're in stock before they do sell out because they will be selling out quick. So yeah, if you want to see what I got, stay tuned and keep on watching. So first off, I'm going to start off by showing you what I got from the high-end um, part of the haul. So I did end up picking up the Tarte Skincare little... Um, skin squad little set and it has let me see it should say it has um the cleansing gel the boosting for one mist the drink of h2 hydrating boost it has a bb tinted um and it has a lights camera lashes mascara and also a amazonian clay 12 hour blush which was I believe only $22 at Sephora um, and I picked up mine in medium I believe they only have light and medium so yeah um, it's a really really good set I believe they have these three items for like $10 in the little set only online and when I saw that they have this one I went ahead and picked this one up for $22 you're getting the BB tint the blush and the mascara so and that mascara is pretty, pretty awesome. So the other item that I picked up, and I picked this one up from Macy's, is the Inglot um, Eyeliner Gel. Um, I am wearing it today, and I love it. I uh, actually picked this up yesterday, and um, I was very excited to try it out because I've heard a lot of good um, reviews about it. So this is how it looks, and it's the number 77. And like I said, I have been using it. So, um, I really, really like it, and I'm so glad I went ahead and picked it up because I always used to use, I always used, um, the liquid by NYC, and I wanted to try something new, so, and I have heard this one stays on without you having to, like, rub it off or anything, and, like I said, I usually wear the liquid and I'm excited because this one does stay on unless you remove it with makeup remover so thumbs up for that one um what else do I have also I was finally able to pick up the Morphe 350 palette I was super super excited because I went to a local shop where I live the store is called the makeup shack um, and it's, I believe it's orange or Tustin, I'm not sure, but I finally picked it up and I am very excited because every time I want to get it online or anything or in store, it's always sold out, so I am super, super excited that I was able to get it. And this is how it looks, it's beautiful. So yeah, different colors and I'm more of a neutral type of of girls so very excited I picked this up and I believe it was only $22 so I'm very happy that I picked that one up and the next things that I have I believe are just all drugstore stuff um I went ahead and picked up another one of the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer because it has been my holy girl foundation. So I went ahead and picked another one up at Walmart. No, not Walmart. CVS, sorry. So I picked it up at CVS and I only ended up paying, I believe it was $3 for it because I had coupons and all that stuff. So I went ahead and picked that up. I also ended up picking up another little sponge. I picked up. I picked this one up from... I believe it was Ulta and I already have one that's purple just like this one and I really like it um I like the way it blends out my makeup and stuff so I went ahead and picked it up and I noticed that they did make it a little bit better because this one is a little bit more fluffier than this one this one's a little more smaller I don't know if you can tell but I am very excited and happy that I did pick that up as well also, I ended up picking up the LA Girl Pro Face um, Matte Press Powder. 
I have the Makeup Shack as well and I picked it up in the color Soft Honey. And so far I've been liking it. Whoa. Stay in there. And it looks like this. And it does keep you matte. I am wearing it today. So yes, I do really, really recommend this powder. It does keep you matte. Usually I'm always oily in between my T-zone. So I've been using this there for most parts and all over my face except except underneath my eyes. Underneath my eyes I do use the Airspun um, translucent powder to set my concealer with so I've really been loving that um, uh, powder. The next things I did get are, let me fix them, the LA um, Girl Pro Concealers. And I picked it up in the color, I picked up the corrector, one of the correctors I believe it is, in the color orange corrector, which is like this. I picked up the green corrector because I do have redness and I do have dark circles, so I went ahead and picked those two up. And then I also picked up a couple more of the different colors of the um, concealers because um, I do like sometimes highlighting underneath my eyes. And sometimes I'll use a concealer all over my face as a foundation. Why? I don't know, but I just like to do it. So I went ahead and picked up a couple colors of those and a little darker colors um, to contour with. So those are it. And I believe that's all that that I picked up at the Makeup Shack. Yeah. And the last items that I did pick up are by Find My by far my favorite products and it is from the collection of Wonder Woman. Um, you can find this collection at I believe Walgreens. It is exclusive to Walgreens and I believe drugstore.com also carries it. So I was able to find mine at my local Walgreens so I went ahead and picked it up there instead of ordering online. So, but I do want to pick up one more item from the collection or two. I'm not sure. But this is the little uh, five piece face set brushes. And it comes with a little baggie on the side and the um, four brushes. I believe that's like the powder brush, an eyeshadow brush, another lip brush, maybe, and a eyebrow uh, brush. And the packaging is just beautiful. So went ahead and picked that up. I also went ahead and picked up the Wonder Woman Paradise Island eyeshadow set and it looks like this. It has a bunch of different eyeshadows on the little thing. I have not yet to swatch them because I am more of a collector and I collect these type of um, collections so that's the reason why I haven't swatched it but I will end up probably swatching them later on but at the moment I am not going to be swatching them here on video but yeah this is the Wonder Woman Paradise Ice Land eyeshadow set and then I also picked up the Wonder Woman palette that looks like this and then on the side it says comic beauty book volume one in the back it tells you what is included in the book it's just really really pretty it looks like that and that is it for my video today for my makeup haul that I did pick up all these items I did pick them up from all different stores like Ulta CVS Makeup Shack um what else Sephora and I believe that's it so yeah um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And I will talk to you guys later.